So a lot of people who actually care about their digital privacy have been talking about the dangers of Microsoft's new recall feature. I even made a video explaining why you should not trust a company like Microsoft to put software on your PC that literally takes screenshots of whatever you're doing on your computer every few seconds and then have it stored and analyzed by their artificial intelligence. You would think that it'd be common sense to not want the world's biggest big tech corporation ever to install some of the most invasive spyware imaginable on your personal computer. But then again, Microsoft has been ramping up the spyware in Windows for over a decade now, and yet they still maintain the majority market share of PC users. Clearly, a lot of people just don't care about the spyware. I guess they're kind of like cattle that are on an industrial dairy farm who just get so used to having the data milked out of them. They've become accustomed to it and they feel right at home with Microsoft's Copilot Plus sucking all of their precious data from their Pluton protected udders. But I'm hoping that this little project that I've been testing out today will be enough to stampede some people away from Microsoft's industrial data mining hell towards the green pastures of GNU Linux. Because it's not just Microsoft who can milk your data from a Copilot Plus PC. See, that's what I hear a lot of people saying when you talk about how these proprietary programs are mining their data. They say, oh, well, they've already got my data. Microsoft's known me for years. They've got me down to rights a million different ways. So whatever, if they get some more of my information. But you know what? Recall can be abused by hackers as well to get your data. This simple little Python script here can extract and display the data from the recall feature in Windows 11. It's able to do this because all of those screenshots that recall takes are stored locally in an unencrypted SQL database nested within your app data directory. There's also options within this script to search for specific terms like password, and you can search for it between specific dates. So if your Windows 11 PC were to get infected with malware, as they still do quite often, then the hacker that is controlling that malware doesn't necessarily need to roll their own remote access Trojan with custom modules to try and escalate privileges and steal data from you and monitor your behavior, all without setting off your anti-malware tool. All they need to do is have you be running the recall feature, and then they can run this Python script, or they can run something similar. It doesn't necessarily have to be this exact Python script. Um, as you can see here, the code isn't even super duper complicated. So this can be implemented a whole bunch of different ways if you try to just create a signature for whatever this is doing. And the hackers will be able to steal your data Right now, in the present, they'll be able to continue stealing it in the future as long as they're on your machine. And thanks to Recall, now they can get any data in the past that it has remembered. Now, as far as testing this software goes, since the Copilot Plus PCs are still in pre-order and they're not really available yet, you're going to need to emulate the Copilot Plus features somehow in order to get recall and stuff enabled. Uh, I chose to do this by setting up an Azure Windows 11 ARM virtual machine to test this software in. Uh, and once you have that set up, you can then RDP into it to access the remote virtual machine graphically. Now, to enable the recall feature, you're going to have to install this Amperage kit here inside of your Azure Windows ARM VM. And it's also possible to use this on hardware. Like if you have, I guess, an older Windows ARM machine that doesn't officially support recall, you can put this on there to get that working on it as well. Uh, and before you can install this software, you're also gonna have to make sure that you install the KB5037 850 update preview on your machine 
Um, I think this specifically applies to the Azure VM. I mean, pretty much this video that I'm doing is on the Azure VM. I haven't actually tried it on the uh, older ARM hardware. Um, but yeah, you need to install this and then you can download the Amperage kit. And you're also going to want to make sure that you download the AI components. Um, so I recommend downloading the torrent file because um, the seven zip download can be a little bit slow. Um, and you can see it's a little bit over two gigs worth of files. So yeah, you need to download those and extract them into the um, workload components folder within the Amperage folder. So this is the amperage.exe and you'll extract all those MSIX files and um, I don't know if it matters whether these HTML files are in here or not, but yeah, mostly these MSIX files need to be extracted here. Once you run the Amperage kit, you'll be able to go into your settings under privacy and security and enable recall and the snapshot feature. And man, I gotta tell you, this stuff is really creepy. Like I thought I was going to have to use this machine for a couple of days in order to generate like a good log of information to look through. But just in the couple of hours that I've had this machine set up and configured it, like I've installed a little bit of uh, software, like some extra programs to basically go through the images and show you guys uh, what's going on here. Yeah, it, it logged everything, every search, every thing of significance that I did within the operating system was logged. And this Python script makes it really, really easy to parse that information. So I'll go ahead and run it now. Python total recall.py. And it's just gonna ask me if I wanna proceed with the extraction. I'll say yes. And so it's extracted a summary of the information here in total recall.txt. So let's take a look at that first and you guys will see what I mean by it logs absolutely everything that you do. <laughs> so um, yeah, like you can see, I think this is since um, I booted it up most recently. Like you can see all the images that were taken. You can see every time I open the command prompt, administrator command prompt, file explorer, it's logging that. It logged the system. It even logs the commands that you're running in the command prompt. So it's like, you know, for those of you lucky enough to have never used uh, Windows, it's like your bash history and it's your screenshots. Um, and it's also your browser history because it's logging like when I went to download uh, if ran view um, it's logging text files like me opening up the total recall file oh yeah and then these are old ones that I had you know I ran it a couple of times as a test I mean it's it's just crazy how much information is here like this is the kind of thing that you would expect someone like if a hacker was gonna infect your computer with some malware that they would write their own custom uh, module or you know maybe they would use something from a Metasploit to log this kind of information. You can see where I went to eBay and somewhere in here it's um, got, yeah, like it can show you where I logged in to a Microsoft account or really this is me creating a new Microsoft account. Uh, Office 365 like at first I was doing stuff on purpose to see like okay do I have to does it really log everything and you can see it really does log absolutely everything you can see where I downloaded Python and yeah and it even takes the screenshots of course so if we go into image store and let me see I think I have to associate all of these with um Ifran. Yeah, because it might uh, complain about yeah the file extension and then we just have to rename it. So yeah, it's it's true. It's it's really taking screenshots of 
everything that you do. Like, let's look at this one. It's a little bit bigger. Yeah, so this is when I ran a system info command. It's like every every action of any significance that you run within any application, it's taking a screenshot of it. Yeah, so this is um <laughs> this is me <laughs> looking up how to add the path to uh Python and Windows because I forgot how to do that. And, you know, Microsoft says that all this stuff is just staying locally on your PC. And, I mean, that's all well and good, right? Even if, even if we assume that that's true, it wouldn't stop a hacker from being able to do exactly what I'm doing here. Like, obviously, they wouldn't make the screenshots open up on your computer and they would be trying to exfiltrate these um, to their command and control servers, but if you just have this recall feature enabled, which I'm I'm sure a lot of people are going to use it because like I said at the beginning of the video, the privacy concerns, even though it's in a lot of like tech news sites and stuff like that, I don't think your average um, like Windows normie is going to care about that. They, uh, <laughs> I mean, Microsoft has become the most valuable company in the world because of doing stuff like this. You can see where I moved the total recall Python file into the documents folder just because I didn't want everything to be in my downloads folder. So yeah, this is gonna make, um, <laughs> potentially make spying on people a whole lot easier, assuming that, um, you know, people are still able to compromise the PCs. And I, and we'll have to see, I mean, we'll, we'll see if uh, Copilot Plus PCs magically end up being much more secure. I, I wouldn't have my hopes up for it though, because with each new iteration of Windows, they've gotten a little bit more secure, but it's still, I mean, you, you can't overcome the user, right? The user will always find a way to invite some nefarious people into their PCs accidentally. And if they have recall enabled, they'll, be opening themselves up to getting their present, their future, and their past hacked.